Hello, good evening. I'm Barbara Song, and today we're going to、uh, quickly look at how to build our C major, G major, and D major scales、um, using MuseScore.、Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we looked at the concept of building major scales, and just a quick revision. Um, to start with, we want to、uh, revise the concept of tones and semitones, the molecules that we use to build our major scale. A tone is,、um, I'll give you an example. C to D is a tone, and the reason why C to D is a tone is because there is a semitone in between those two notes, C sharp slash D flat. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a Tone, um, and a semitone is also the distance between two notes. However, there is no semitone in between those two notes.、Um, a natural occurring semitone in、um, just any scale is from E to F. From E to F, there is no semitone.、Uh, there is no semitone in between、um, E to F. Um, because it's、um, a natural semitone. Those two notes. Okay. Now、uh, we're going to build our scales on MuseScore. Let's fire it up. Um, um, start off with a new score, and let's go to vocals and select alto. Use the arrow to bring it to our score. It's done. Huh. Usually it gives me the option to set it up, you know, the title and everything. We can do it on the score directly like so.、Um, C, G, D, major scales. How's that? Subtitle. How about we put the mode value there using semi. Then semi breathes、uh, count for four beats.、Uh, semi breathe note is a four beat. Both are going to put minus so. Select our semi breathe note.、Um, apparently, mu scores it follows the American system, but、uh, here in、um, our NCA assessments, we.、Um, We need to know our British system, so I will call it the semi brief note. Okay. okay, so N, hit N on your keyboard, and for note input, do select the semi brief, and then the tone, and the second one is tone. Followed by a semitone and a tone from F to G, G to A, another tone, A to B, another tone, and B to C, a semitone. Okay. Now that C major scale is all done,、um, I just want to give it a little bit of、um, title、uh, and polish it up by tidying. Just tidy it up a little bit. Also,、um, so I'll label it C majors. May, 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 June. Where's where has my typing skill gone today? Um, and in the end, I want to add a double bar line. Double bar line is a full stop in music. And also, I want the C major scale to occupy, occupy the first line. I don't want these untidy rest bars on the first line.、Um, what I do is I go to layout and hit the system break bar. And now I have the first bar all tidied up. Now we're going to go ahead and build our G major scale using not key signatures. But accidentals. Now there are three types of accidentals. They are sharp, and then it raises the notes by 
a semitone flat it, right uh, it lowers the note by a semitone and uh, your natural the natural signs they neutralize any sharps or um, flat signs occurring that occurred previously okay so let's go ahead and build our G major scale again and for notes note input and select our semi brief start from the G note so follow the same formula here you want let's revise two tones one semitone three tones and a semitone okay so tone to A another tone to B and a semitone to C and a tone to D and another tone up to E and another tone here so E to F is a semitone um, but you need a, you need a, sorry E to F is a semitone and you really need a tone here to turn this distance to turn this to a um, tone from semitone highlight F and escape out of notation input and select sharp there you go the notes are turning color because it's telling me that um these notes are getting out of the outer vocal range and finish with the G. very red it means that alto cannot possibly achieve this let's tidy it up with our double bar line and the system break and we want to also move it E major My spelling this time is better G major scale okay here we go mm, next I'm going to build my D major scale Note for note input and for note input, select the semi brief. D to E, the tone, E to F sharp, the tone, F sharp to G, the tone. Use the down arrow to collect to correct the error I made. G to A, tone, A to B, tone. And another tone. I need a C sharp, don't I? To finish, we need a semitone. Just put your D there. Tidy it up with a double bar line and a system break. And you want to move it. D major scale. D major scale. And um, now um, to the file, export, export it as your PDF. Major. Next, I want to go back to export, drop down box to MP3 audio, and export. Same here. download export it just directly to um the desktop i always save things to the desktop first and then streamline it jet will probably criticize me um not criticize me jet will most likely going to re-educate me here um yes save 
and that's done. That's our work done. Uh, it's taking a while to export the audio. I wouldn't think that the audio is that big, the audio file. Um, I could see also that there are some extra unwanted rest bars in the end. Um, or probably I'm going to show you how to delete those bars. I'll probably show you now. It's easy. Select the first and the last bar. Right click. Or double click. I double clicked. <laughs> double click. Delete measures. Boom. Gone. Now it's much more tidy. All right. So have a go building these scales on your Muse score. Drummers, you need to practice building building these scales as well on Muse score. Thank you. All right.